Are you sure this is gonna work, Emmett? Don't let the ramshackle nature of my laboratory fool you. If all goes according to plan, we'll soon be in possession of the most powerful rocket fuel known to man. That's great. Uh, how? Well, it's very simple. This crankshaft induces a powerful direct current into the electrolysis chamber, producing hydrogen, which must be periodically released into the primary distillation barrel. While tending to the hydrogen, we'll also need to regularly sprinkle these shredded protein flakes into this aquarium of tuber bacteria to generate the necessary nitrogen to catalyze the reaction. Cool. Oh, hot! Extremely hot! The temperature of the reaction must be kept at a steady temperature of 623 degrees Kelvin by carefully pumping these bellows! Any questions? Good lord. It's a lot. Uh... Emmett? Why is there a brace of drunkards gathering on our lawn? Sweet fancy Moses, it's my father! So? So, he doesn't know I'm engaging in acts of scientific exploration in here. He thinks this is where I go to pour through my law books. Oh. You tend to the reaction, I'll try to get rid of him! Tend to the... what? Can't we just start over after he's gone? Oh, jeez. It's too late! The reaction's already started! Don't worry, I'll try to help you out where I can. But... Uh, coming, father! Father! Don't you father me, child! You know who invented fire pop? I don't know either, but you can be damn sure it wasn't a lawyer. Okay, so fire. Stoke fire. Right. This isn't food for thought, Pop. It's gruel. Food. All right. There is a flame inside me that flame. cannot be quelled by your legalistic gobbledygook, Father. Excellent. Now twist the valve there. Great. We're about a quarter of the way home. Emmett, get back here. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, maybe you're burning, All right, passion, burning. Father, but it is not mine. Someday you have children and you will look for the I don't Can't you see this is eating me up inside? Why won't you release me from your unattainable expectations? Stop being such a crank! So it's really hard to pay attention and remember where everything is and what everything should be like referred to. You get, the more I know I'm right. Like I didn't know what the release one was for, at first, but then I realized, you know. Ah, uh, halfway there. Halfway. All right. Damn it! Keep up the good work. You have no idea what kind of pressure uh, I'm under. Pressure. You don't get to control my life just because you fed and oh. clothed me for 17 years. I missed the pressure. I know what I was supposed to do back there. Oh, shoot. Oh, no. Oh, shoot. Gosh, dang it. Listen to the words I'm emphasizing. Don't you turn your back on me. Okay. Okay. <laughs> If it weren't for scientists, men like you would still be dividing the future with sheep's bladders this? and goat gizzards. Oh, okay. Shoot. I'm surprised I actually got that. room full of lawyers trapped in a burning building. A good start. Are you trying to spin this argument around to my feelings? Spin? What spin? Oh wait, is it this? Rotation. Do you ever listen to yourself? Oh, I'm surprised I got that one. Hot under the collar, Pop. What will it take to light a fire under your unappreciative fine quarters? Oh, did I get it right? No, I messed up, didn't I? Oh shoot, I messed up. Oh god, this is so hard. Oh. What did you do? Emmett, who are you? No one. Oh god, okay. I don't know what's eating you, father, but I wish you would go on a diet. You didn't like it here. This may come as a shock to you, Pop, but not everyone wants to be a lawyer. <laughs> Lawyers are nothing but a bunch of hot air. This there, one? I said it. Oh no, I think that was the wrong one. Oh no, okay, shoot. Oh, shock? Name one great thing ever generated by a lawyer. Are they feeding you in that school of yours? You look like a skeleton. Oh no, oh no, oh, oh god. Oh, what did I miss? Oh no. Just 
Pay attention. I'm sorry, I'm trying. There is a flame inside me. All right, come on. Well, by your legalistic gobbledygook, father. Von Bronze have been officers of the court since spark. God's heavenly spark first gave rise to man. What? He didn't say anything. I thought you it. Mate. He didn't say anything. What was I supposed to do? Why don't you go feed the ducks, father? Pressure? You're a child. You don't know anything about pressure. Suck me, you guy. Oh, what? <laughs> what? The <laughs> I just did what he said. Oh, God. Don't touch anything until I tell you to. Okay, will do. So should I listen to him and not his dad? A room full of lawyers trapped in a burning building. A good start. Why do you keep bellowing like that? Sunday. I'm not just another one of your staffers who spins around you like a top. You got This isn't food for thought, Pop. Okay, this seems to be working out better. Why don't you ever listen to me? What's listen? What's supposed to be listen? If I don't get a spark out of laws and uh. Your ancestors are spinning in their graves right now. Do you really want to vent our dirty laundry in public like this? Don't burn your bridges so cavalierly, my son. Oh my gosh. Can't you see this is eating me up inside? Got it. Come on. Almost there. Yes. Finally. Alright, one more combination. We can do this. I mean, it's kind of difficult, though. Pressuring me to be something I'm not. Why must you always scatter condescension my way? Law may be your burning passion, Father, but it is not mine. Lawyers are nothing but overblown bags of gas. You know who invented fire, Pop? I don't know either, but you can be damn sure it wasn't a lawyer. Don't you have a release valve on your mouth somewhere? Why are you always bellowing at me? Oh, man. If it for scientists, men like you would still be dividing the future with sheep's bladders and goat gizzards. I strongly object to the current of this conversation, Father. Stop getting so hot under the collar, Pop. I don't know what's eating you, Father, but I wish it would go on a diet. Yes, I'm getting there. Uh, I'm afraid we'll have to take this up later, Pop. My soup's about to boil over. <laughs> what? This isn't over, young man. I did it. Ooh. I did a thing. You I did okay? a thing of a thing. You and your dad sounded. It was an argument we should have had a long time ago. We... Oh. oh god. Oh, oh that's not good. Eureka! Sweet. We did it. Now Somehow. all we gotta do is fuel up the old rocket power drill and you and, and I can- I can take it and go. But don't you wanna test it first? No time. The, uh, the the last train for DC leaves in just a few minutes. All right. You've got to get this baby to the U.S. Patent Office. Uh, exactly. So tell me, Michael, when can I expect to hear back from the Patent Office? We're gonna say like the longest possible. Oh, in about I'd say. <laughs> I can't. Huh? Damn it, I, I'm not from the patent office. I don't understand. I, I, I lied to you, but I, I didn't want to. It was just, it was the only way I can get you to trust me. See, there's somebody who's in big trouble. Someone very important to me, to, to both of us. I, I can't tell you who, but I need to save him tonight. And, and I need your invention to do it. He's mad. Oh boy. I'll get it back to you. I, I promise. And Emmett, you're gonna be a great inventor.
What did we do? Did we ruin the entire story? Oh god. Oh wait, hold on. Oh. Ah. Hmm. Keep the throttle at about eight. Ah, okay. Nice guy, huh? Nice guy, Doc. Okay, Doc, I got the drill. Now let's get you out of here. Oh my gosh. Jeez. Come on, start. <clears throat> oh, shit. That didn't work at all. Mr. Corleone! You're too late! Too late? The doc's not supposed to be... Doc! They're moving him to another facility for safekeeping! Oh! I better go get a quote from the police chief! Oh no! We gotta take her back! Paddy wagon intercepted. Suspect slain. And they're still after him! Son of a gun. How am I gonna rescue him now? Uh, the bike. That's what I say. There's Let's no take... way Edna's bike is gonna be fast enough to catch up with that paddy wagon. Sure it or is. Where is there? Oh yes, I know how. Hmm. At least the rocket part came out of this one piece. Now strap it on there. Let's go. Yes. Why was there smoke at the end right there? Like at the right side of the screen? What the heck? What was that about? What is this nonsense? Alright, we gotta save the poor guy. go back around. Let's see if we can get to the cab. Because obviously we need some sort of key. Maybe. Don't worry, Doc. I'll get you out. Be careful, buddy. I will. Don't worry. I'll be back. I'll wait right here. Alright. Oh, it's Kid. That's why. Right. What's he doing here? So we need the keys. The window shut tight. What can we use? Is there anything we can use? Hmm. Alright, let's go back. Oh wait, no, there's a toolbox right there. Hold on, let's see if we can use the toolbox for anything. Hold on. Go back over here. The keys are on the dashboard, but I can't reach them. The of what? A reach extender! Kid Tannen's driving the truck! Kid Tannen? That explains a lot! Alright, um... I'll be back! Toolbox. I forgot. I didn't even see this the first time. Alright, so we got this. Let's smash the window with this, sir. Why on earth would I want to whack that with a tire iron? I don't know, good question. Let's go back. I think we know- I, I think I know what to do. We can get rid of this tire over here, right? Is that a thing? Maybe use a tire iron right there? Yeah, there we go. Now I got a hubcap. Don't know what to do with that. I'll 
I'll be back. Hmm. No, I didn't want to go back. Gosh dang it. Um, <laughs> Alright, fight one down. See what we can do with the hubcap here. I don't think throwing the hubcap at that would do any good. Keys. How do I get them? Alright. Literally nothing over here. Maybe this? No. Let's go back and let's see if there's anything else in this toolbox that I can use. Probably not, but we can we can go see. Can't break the lock. There's a key, but it's prop. Okay, well, no kidding. I'll be back. Okay, nothing. Maybe use the hubcap for something? I don't think throwing the hubcap at that would do any good. Keys. Hmm. Alright, let's try to, let's try to find a hit now. You'll need those keys on the dashboard. No kidding. What can you use to snag them? Radio Wow, really? Of all things, a radio antenna? Never would have guessed. <laughs> Seriously though, like this scrawniest thing on my screen, you never would have saw that. Thank you for the hint, though. <laughs> Alright. So now we go to inventory, antenna, front window. Oh, good. The window shut. Oh, yeah. Now we need to come back around to the open window by kid. And go all the way to the front window. Antenna, keys. Let's do this. Uh. I need a distraction. Leave it to me. All right. Hey, driver. Gosh, I'm sorry for the noise, you guys. What? How do you take those curves? What are you? I object to your tone of voice, and I find the seat. Distinctly uncomfortable. You have a pillow I can sit on. Hey, I'm talking to you, driver. Don't ignore me. You. Oh crap! I just took a punch. Thanks, Doc. I guess that's why they call you the street. How did you know that? I have my sources. <laughs> All right. So now we got to go back and unlock these doors. All right. Inventory keys. Okay. Uh oh, he sees us. Oh, wait, what? Oh, maybe not. Wait, what am I doing? Oh, wait. Let's try the saucer. Or the hubcap, whatever it is. Eat lead, Sagan! Ow! Son of a bitch! Heh. <laughs> Got him. How you doing, Doc? How are you in there? <laughs> Assuming we can probably shoot the shackles. Oh, well, this is a bad idea. That's the idea. Alright, well, now we're kind of stuck in a situation, aren't we? Nothing in here that's going to help us. Let's see, what can we click on? Literally nothing. Let's just. Um, any ideas? What now? I'm sorry if you can hear music in the background. Oh. What's happening? They literally just went flying over the freaking hill. That was great. Right in the middle. That's wonderful. 
flying across the sky. Very majestic life. Right into the DeLorean. Perfect. Doc, are you okay? I'm fine. But I wonder what sorts of bizarre repercussions my younger self's invention of a flying bicycle will have on the timeline. Oh gosh, it just exploded. Well, that's great. Did you know that would happen? I had a suspicion. I never could keep those rockets from exploding. <laughs> so, what do we do now? Now we get back to 1986 before our interactions with the past inevitably cascade into a calamitous future. Where'd you leave Einstein? Uh, Doc? He's not in the pound, is he? No, uh, but I think we've got bigger problems right now. Great Scott! Oh, and that's the end of the end of this uh, episode, quote unquote. Is that what they're called? This first part. This is the first part of five, and that is the end of this one, actually, guys. So uh, yeah, I hope you have enjoyed. Oh, let's let's watch this little preview for the next episode. Uh, what's happening? I don't know. We we'll have to be careful not to run into ourselves. Hey, fellas. All right, McFly. Let's go see the boss. History says Tanner will be arrested by a rookie cop by the name of Danny Parker. I fear that nothing will save Hill Valley from descending into the fires of chaos and corruption. Nothing is over until Kid Tannen says it's over. Alrighty, guys. So, that is going to be it for this episode of back to the future of the game in the next episode we will go on and um, play episode two I don't know how to get out of these here we go we can go right here anyways next episode we are going to go ahead and play episode two and um, hopefully get tan get tannin I'm pretty sure is what it's called so um, <laughs> yeah hope you guys did enjoy if you did a like and a subscribe it would be great if you're not already subscribed and uh, yeah guys that's gonna be it for today Peace.